Hello, this is for my current students that are still trying to sort things out. We'll be talking about the localizer approach, the back course approach, LDA without glide slope. And this will be a discussion from above the final approach fix altitude. To help sort things out and make life a little bit easier, when you're within 15 miles or downwind, slow to 210 knots. At 210, flaps 1, 200. At 200 knots, flaps 2, 180. That'll help slow things down while you're learning this approach. Let's assume we're above the final approach fix altitude and we've been getting headings and altitudes from ATC, so we're conventional heading altitude above green. Uh, previews available, we select a preview. Next, we're on a 30 degree intercept and ATC says cleared for the approach. We set MDA. And then we take a look at our light mode enunciator panel and we see that uh, altitude screen we're going to use path to get ourselves down, so we need to turn VNAV on. And as when we press VNAV, we'll get a magenta altitude. And then we'll select NAV, and LNAV will be armed. We intercept the course inbound, LNAV, altitude, MDA. And uh, coming up on top of scent, we'll hear ball. There we get the VTA. Transitions to LNAV and path, going down to your MDA. Uh, coming up on three miles from the final approach fix, so go ahead and select gear down flaps 3, 160, and then flaps 5, be approach landing checklist. Be fully configured prior to two miles from the final approach fix. Now we need to be in the source for the approach which we're shooting. Uh, that would happen to be a localizer, so we need to transition to the world, the signal, or the radio. We'll press VL on our controls display unit. As a consequence, you'll enter basic lateral, basic vertical, which happens to be roll and FPA. Uh, it's a consequence of transition from the world of the FMS to the world of the radio or the signal. Well, we happen to like FPA because that allows us for a constant angle all the way into the, uh, the approach, well, either to uh, the point where we disconnect the automation and fly it in, or we uh, allow the aircraft to uh, capture altitude and then uh, fly to the Mr. Brush point and go around. So the only problem with this picture right now is that uh, we are in roll. So we select nav and when we do, because the needle's ahead of us, it'll say localizer. If the needle happened to be behind us, it would be back course. Now we're good to continue past the final approach fix. After this, uh, as we're coming in on the approach, we have two possible outcomes. We'll either hear minimums or continue. If you hear minimums, allow the aircraft to capture altitude. And then once it does, set misapproach altitude. If by chance you hear your monitor pilot say continue, autopilot off, I'll, I'll autopilot off, and then ask him to set or her misapproach altitude. So let's say uh, we hear, hear uh, minimums. So we allow a transition. She's going to level off at uh, MDA. Then we fly to Miss Approach Point. We'll see the distance here on your primary flight display. At uh, the Miss Approach Point, go around, flaps two, pause rate, gear up, 400. We need to transition back from the world of the radio because the Miss Approach instructions is, are in the box. We'll select FMS nav. And 1,000 feet flight level change to 10. We specify it by the speed of 210 because we do not have the epic update in the FMS. Then uh, for, get to the faster than the F bug, flaps one. Aircraft recalculates another F bug and we say flaps up. And a monitor pilot will uh, advise us flaps up and we'll say after takeoff checklist. Right. Let's see uh, if on the other hand you hear continue, autopilot off, autopilot off, set Mr. Approach altitude. Uh, where will we look for our angle? Well, on your primary flight display, right there is your angle. If it's a three degree descent on the chart, that's what would be three. If it's 3.1 or it's 2.9, that's where you'd look. Right. Hopefully that has been insightful to you. Have a good day.